Welcome to our Tips and Tricks series for Remark Support. This training covers processing forms using a network scanner or multifunctional peripheral and pre-scanned images. This demonstration was recorded using Remark Office OMR 7. Although Remark Office OMR is able to work directly with the majority of scanners, there are some situations where working directly with a particular scanner isn't possible. Some examples are, a particular scanner's Twain driver won't work because it doesn't meet Twain standards for functionality. Or, a multifunctional device or scanner is connected directly to your computer, but it can't be harnessed by Remark Office OMR because it lacks a Twain driver. Or, a scanner or multifunctional peripheral is placed on the network in order to be shared with other users. If you are unsure if a particular device can be used, here are the things you need to be able to command it to do. First, the device needs to be able to create supported image files that meet the criteria for good recognition in Remark Office OMR. Some good settings that are commonly used are black and white TIFF, JPEG, or PCX files with 300 dpi resolution. Next, the device needs to be able to hold the desired settings as a default. Why is that? Well, defaults make your processing as convenient as possible. And last, the device needs to be able to place the images somewhere for you. This might be a folder on a network drive, or perhaps it will email them to you at your own computer. This will vary from device to device, but you'll need some way to easily work with the pre-scanned image files once they're created. Let's see how this is done in the software. I've opened a form template in the data center, and the next thing I want to do is open the Read Wizard. I can use this link right here. And when the Read Wizard opens, you'll notice I can either read from the scanner directly or I have the choice to read from image files. If I click the Next button, it takes me to a screen where I can specify the image I images I want to process. Now notice that I can go anywhere on my system to do that, and these, but these happen to be right here. And it's always to your advantage to have a folder that contains only the images you want to process. Uh, because, if that's the case, you can use the bottom green arrow to add all images to the images in read order portion of the screen. So let me do that right now. Now, if by chance it was a case where there were only some images in this folder I wanted to process, I could use the shift key to highlight just the ones I want and use the upper arrow just to add selected images. But I'm ready to go, so I'm now going to click the read button. And what I want you to see is how quickly and easily these images are processed. And there they are. Now they're all ready. In just a moment here, they'll be ready to clean or export or analyze. In this training, we've covered how to use a network scanner or multifunctional peripheral to process pre-scanned image files. We hope this has been useful to you. Should you need further assistance, our contact information is on the screen. If there's any topic you would like covered in our Tips and Tricks series, please submit your ideas to www.gravit.com slash remark slash support slash suggestions.html. Thank you.